Today I'm gonna show you this brand new 2024 custom built home on 10 acres with its own private entrance with no HOA. Are you interested? Well then look no further because I got you. What's up, YouTube fam? If you're new to my channel, well, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Alexis Diaz, and I'm Central Florida's real estate advisor and co-founder of the Evolve Estates Group. Our passion here at the Evolve Estates Group is to help people evolve in real estate. So we go all over Central Florida and surrounding areas to show you what Florida has to offer. We explore new construction, resale home, investment opportunities, local restaurant shops, and so much more. Now, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on those notifications so you don't miss my weekly videos. Today we are back in Ocala, Florida, and I am super excited to tour this brand new custom home. It is a five bedroom, five bathroom, three car garage, 4,393 square foot home on 10 acres. It is priced at $1.6 million and it was just reduced by $150,000. Now, because this house is so large, I had to bring in reinforcement. Yes, my lovely, lovely children. We are super excited. They haven't seen the house yet. So I want you to see their honest reactions. Now, let's begin your real estate evolution tour. All right, so guys, let's tell them your honest opinion. What do you think? Wow. This is beautiful. Right? It's a mansion. It is like a mini mansion. Oh my gosh. This house is absolutely amazing. So this is an open floor plan. So as you can see, you have different spaces where you can do whatever your heart desires. You can maybe make one side kind of like a, a office, a dining room, eating kitchen is absolutely up to you. Now let's go and walk into the family room. What do you guys think about this fireplace? That looks huge, it's amazing. It's so huge. I know. So the you have tiling going all the way up to the ceiling. You have an electric fireplace. I tried to turn it on. I didn't even know how to do it. But guys, so you could still put your 100 inch minimum TV on this wall. Absolutely. I love it. I love the beams on the ceiling. All of the light fixtures come with this house. This is a nice space, right? So it's like a entertaining space. You can maneuver this however you would like to, however your heart desires, but this most likely is gonna be the family room. And then you have this section here and that opposite section, whether you want to, like I said, um, make it maybe like a game area or I don't know, whatever. You put your thinking caps on and your creativity because I have no idea. But let's walk in to this beautiful kitchen. Oh my gosh. What do you guys think about this kitchen? I like the island. The, the, island. Island. Yeah. Yeah. the, island. the island is absolutely beautiful. You guys know that I love islands because I'm an island girl. I'm from Puerto Rico. I'm also from Dominican Republic and I was born and raised in Staten Island, New York. So when I see islands, it reminds me of being back home. My kids surrounding the island, we're chopping it up, talking about our day, right? 
Oh my gosh, so this is a ginormous island. It's quartz countertops and even the veins are different. It has like a black color in it. If you didn't know, Ocala is known as the horse capital of the world. So we have a lot of farms here. This is an equestrian center. So the equestrian center is actually only about 10 minutes away from here. So it is absolutely beautiful. When you drive through, you'll see horses, you'll see people riding on the horses. But so we have a single stainless steel sink. We have this faucet, which I absolutely love. Very, very elegant. You guys know that I love this pull out faucet. Yes, we have drawers galore here we also have the dishwasher and on the opposite side we also have some storage which i think is perfect for like the bulkier items that maybe you don't you don't grab until you're entertaining okay so i think that that's perfect now let's talk about this side of the kitchen we have a hood that goes all the way up to the ceiling i absolutely love it we have the electric cooktop more than enough space towel backsplash we have the quartz um countertops here drawers and cabinets galore now they are not soft clothes but that's something that you can add in afterwards you have the open shelves here and then you have the cabinets going on the top as well i love it because they have their own lighting but it's kind of like you know in the libraries where you have a, a really big rail and a long ladder to get from one end to the other i think you're gonna need this with those top cabinets unless you just put some pretty stuff in there and you don't even need you don't um grab anything that you need on a daily basis but come this way we have two pantries so we have one pantry on this end i love 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 these doors we have one two three four five shelves so more than enough space for all of your goods but what do you guys think about this so far? I absolutely love it. Now we're gonna go to the opposite side. So we're gonna keep on walking. I love this island. Now, over here on this wall, we're gonna have the microwave over the oven. I love this combo. We have some more cabinets and then we have the Samsung refrigerator. As you can see, oh, somebody left some cookies in here. And then we have a, uh, another pantry on that end okay so now what we're gonna do is that it's kind of like a it's a split floor plan so the master bedroom is on one side of the house and then the other bedrooms are on the other side i am super excited to show you this now we're gonna check out bedroom number one which is across the way in front of the house let's go welcome to bedroom number one there's an extra large window no rugs nice lights and a big Closet door. You want to show them the closet? Go show them the closet. So in this closet is these one of these fancy doors. Huh? Oh, it's already a custom closet. What do you think about that? It's a nice railing for your hangers, your folded clothes here. Talk to them, yeah. And you can put your drawers like somewhere, like back there. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have like outside shirts, you could put it here. Absolutely. So you could. So what I love about this already is that the rooms, the closets are already custom, right? It's not the regular racks that you find at Lowe's or Home Depot, right? So I would hope so in a one point six million dollar home, right? All right. So let's continue the tour. Let's go. All right, so how did Caleb do showing you bedroom number one? I absolutely love it. There are no carpets in here. It's towel all throughout the house. And then we have high ceilings as well, okay? So now what we're gonna do, because this hallway is off of the family room. So we have bedroom number one that we just saw. Now behind me is gonna be bathroom number one. We have a shower tub combination with a window. We have some light fixture. And then we have the single sink with the quartz countertops, right? This is just, for some reason, this shower tub combination reminds me of New York. Um, in one of my apartments, it was just like this as far as having the sliding doors with the tub. You don't really see that often. Tell me what you think about that, right? So now we're gonna meet Cassidy in bedroom number two. Let's go. All right, Cassidy, show us bedroom number two. Welcome to bedroom number two. It faces the side of the house it, it's a light, it has a light fixture. Wanna show them the closet? Walk-in closet. Wow, it does have a walk-in closet. What do you think about this closet? It's big. Will it fit all of your clothes and shoes? Think. You think so? You can put stuff on there, put the shoes. So yes. And hang it up with the sides. Absolutely. So It's a big closet, like 
You can have like so many stuff on the sides. Absolutely. So this is a nice size room. Like she said, faces the side of the house. We have the light fixtures, recessed lighting, and then we have tile throughout the house. And we also have the extended baseboards. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the opposite side of the house. And then we're gonna check out the other two bedrooms, the garage, and then that laundry room. Let's go, come on. All right. So how are my children doing so far? It's super important for me to have them a part of this process because I want to show them everything that you are able to do as long as you put your mind to it, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to go off of the family dining space. Uh, honestly, I don't know which one is going to be the dining space, whatever your heart desires, but this back here is a long hallway. And then we're gonna have two bedrooms, the laundry room and the three car garage. Now we're gonna meet Malachi in bedroom number three. All right, Malachi, show us bedroom number three. Welcome to bedroom number three. We're in the space in the back of the house, own bathroom and walk-in closet. That was kind of fast, but okay. So this bedroom faces the back of the house. It has its own chandelier. Again, recessed lighting, very, very tall ceilings. It has its own bathroom. So this is an ensuite, single quartz countertops with the chandelier in the bathroom as well. And then you have a step in shower with the enclosure coming up. And we also have the tiling. It doesn't go all the way up to the ceilings, which annoys me. You I feel like they just, just extend it to the ceiling. It looks so much better. But this is definitely a very, very nice step in shower. It has its own niche. So do you want to show them the walk-in closet? All right. So that's the walk-in closet. What do you think about it? Good. It's good? It has a lot of shelves. And because you have, if it's, you have big hangers, you can put it right there absolutely so what i love is that again all of the closets are custom so you don't have the wire rack and i could definitely appreciate that so this one is a walk-in closet so this is perfect for maybe if you have a family member your mom your mother-in-law um, staying with you or maybe the older child right so this is a perfect ensuite so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna check out that laundry room which i think that you are going to love it let's go malachi all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the laundry room. We're going to go meet Aiden, who's my first baby. He's normally not in the videos because you know how teenagers are now. They don't want to do anything with mom, right? But I made him do it. So let's go meet him in the laundry room. All right, Aiden, show us this laundry room. I heard you were talking about me talking good about you don't even start with me come on tell us about the laundry room so there's natural lights that come with the laundry room there's also these the washer and dryer that comes with the that comes with the laundry room these beautiful cabinets right here and over here and this beautiful sink right here yes so i absolutely love these open shelves here so you can do some maybe decorations like they have here right this beautiful utility sink with the same quartz countertops all throughout the house but this is perfect for like maybe like a folding station right yeah i think that would be Definitely. absolutely perfect so this is a very nice and spacious laundry room you like doing laundry uh i mean it depends mm-hmm all right, how about we show them the three car garage? Sure, let's go. All right, let's go. Welcome to this three car beautiful garage with the floors already done and the natural light right here. And these are the door openers with, that come with the garage. I love that the door openers come with the garage. One less thing for them to think about. Yes. Now on this side, what I absolutely appreciate is that there's two water heaters. I'm so glad that there's two water heaters because if this is, this is a large house, it's almost 4,400 square foot, wow. right? So you definitely, if there's gonna be a lot of people living in here, you definitely want two water heaters. Cause how is it in our house? The kids run to the bathroom so that they don't run out of hot water, right? Yes. And by the time the fourth or the fifth child is taking a bath, they're taking a cold shower, right? 
What I love about this house too is that they already have a water softener because this house is on a septic tank and it's on well water. So for them to already install the water softener is absolutely perfect. So you're gonna absolutely love the water. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna check out bedroom number four, which is just outside of the garage. Let's go. All right. So we are going to check out bedroom number four. How did Aiden do? He was so nervous, but I think he is a pro. He did absolutely amazing. Okay. So this bedroom number four faces the back of the house. We have the oversized window. So a lot of natural light is coming in here. We have the recessed lighting. We have the, um, the chandelier that comes with the house already. So I absolutely love how just tall the ceilings are. I don't know the exact dimensions, but here we are, okay? So now this room also has its own walk-in closet, more than enough space. If I were you and you buy this house, I would just add more, um, like more custom shelves and things like that because we do have the custom um, shelves with the with the pole, but I think it's big enough to add something else as well, okay? Now, this bedroom also has its own ensuite. So we have the step-in shower with that beautiful tiling. We have um, the drop-down lighting, and then we also have a window in here with the single quartz countertop sink here as well. So I absolutely love this house. What do you think about it so far? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna check out your extended covered lanai. This home is on 10 acres. Let's go. So if you would like to work with us here at the Evolve Estates Group, the best way to reach out to us is gonna be in my YouTube. You're gonna see a link, just click on it. It's a link that links to my calendar, right? And you choose whether you're a builder, an investor, a buyer or a seller wanting to evolve in real estate. I love doing it this way because when we hop on a Zoom call, because I love that personal interaction, I wanna see your beautiful faces, I like to make sure that you have my undivided attention, okay? If you reach out to me via phone, email, that's completely fine. You'll most likely get my assistant, Katrina, and she'll go ahead and schedule some time on my calendar, okay? Now, we're gonna meet up with Eli, who's right here, and he is going to show us this backyard oasis. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, Eli, tell us about this backyard. So in the back, we have an extended covered lanai. We could put um, a grill next to the sink and we could put on a full on full basketball court because of how big this backyard is. A basketball court, you say? Yeah, it's big enough. Okay, okay. So let's, let's just let them know, right? So you already have that outdoor sink. So as you mentioned, it would be perfect to maybe like extend that with the grill, right? Has, have a great time, grill. What do you like to eat on the grill? It depends on hamburger or uh, on barbecue chicken. Barbecue chicken. I'm surprised you didn't say steak. I didn't even know steak could be grilled. Yeah, steak could be grilled, of course. So what's a great option too is they could do, number one, it's pre-wired for ceiling fans. So the ceiling fans do not come with the home. Although I do think that they should have added it. You do have an abundance of recessed lighting, but they also can enclose this with screen. So on their, the cooler months, this would be perfect just to, like you said, maybe have a seating area to read a book and things like that. But right now we're heading into summer. He's in a sweater. I don't understand how, but it is hot. Now, what do you think about this, this fireplace that they have over here? Oh, it's not a fireplace, a fire pit. It's pretty cool. Um, the only thing that I might have a problem with is um, seeds growing into the cracks of the um, concrete. Okay. That could attract flies, ants, and if you um, fry marshmallows, they might go on it. Ah. Don't want to get a stomach. You don't want your stomach ache? <laughs> All right, so as you can tell, this is your backyard oasis, 10 acres. It is super quiet. You just hear the birds chirping, the crickets, right? It's just 
Natural sounds. Natural sounds, just like he said. But what I absolutely love is that you could definitely make this your backyard oasis. You can keep this how it is. You can add a pool if you wanted to. You can add a playground. You can add a basketball court like Eli said, right? So there's more than enough space here. It does seem to be that it's all fenced in already for the most part. Um, I'm not sure of the very, very back. But as I mentioned, this is all secluded. So it is, you have a private gate entrance into the, um, into your lot. So it's amazing. I love it, love it, love it. So I, can you see like my kids are just sitting there. They're probably super hot right now. Um, with, you know, just like your family, maybe just enjoying the enjoying the weather making s'mores when it gets cooler because right now it's too hot to have a fire on but this is your backyard on 10 acres now what we're gonna do we're gonna go back into the house and we're gonna show you that master bedroom we're gonna go meet up with catalina all right, so you actually have triple doors that lead to the covered lanai, but then you also have this separate door on this end. I love this separate door because it leads you to bathroom number four. So bathroom number four would be perfect if you wanted to add a pool, right? They just have to come through this side and go in there and they don't have to wet the other floor. Or this is still perfect for like your guests and things so that they don't have to go into nobody's bedroom. We already know how we all feel about that, right? The guests don't need to see what's in the bedrooms. So this would be perfect, okay? So this is a step-in shower. We have, again, the lighting. We have the quartz countertops. And then we have that beautiful black and white combo um, tiling in the shower. I absolutely love it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go check out the master bedroom. It's right off of this bathroom. And we're going to meet up with Catalina because I'm... I am super excited to show you this. Now, Catalina, tell us about this master bedroom. Welcome to this master bedroom. It has two windows. It's on the side of the house and it brings in beautiful lighting. And in the bathroom, there's two closets. Well, oh. but we didn't, we, you're jumping to the closets. Wait, let's, let's take in this master bedroom. It is extremely spacious. Like she said, it has the recessed lighting. We have the extended baseboards. We have the wood beams on the top, which I absolutely love. We already have the light fixture and we have these two windows. Now we can go check out that master bathroom. But one thing I want to mention too is that this master bedroom has two entrances. So it has one entrance there, which is going to be off when you come into the house to the left. That room that you could use as a dining room, it has this door that leads into the master bedroom. And then we have the door that off of that bathroom, which we came in through, okay? Now let's check out this beautiful master bathroom. What do you think about this? Do you like it? Yeah. I love it. So we have the standalone tub. It is absolutely beautiful. We have the tiling going all the way up to the ceiling as it should be surrounding the standalone tub. We have this ginormous window, which nobody is going to be able to see inside here because you are on 10 acres. Yes, I am here for it. Now, come on this way. So you also have a linen closet. This is the only linen closet that I have seen in this house, but you have more than enough space to put all of the towels, bed sheets, and things like that, okay? So it's not like you don't have any and this is small, right? So it's a good size. Now, we have a step-in shower with the tiling going all the way up to the ceiling. That's how all the bathrooms should be. Very, very, very nice and spacious. It looks like um, a rainfall shower head. What do you think about it? It looks good. It's kind of like your shower. It kind of like my shower, yep. And then we also have the enclosure that comes with it. My husband's like, mm, I'm not a big fan of it. And I could definitely understand why. I think it could they could have put something more elegant, but it's nice that it came with it, right? Now, we have this extended countertops with the two undermounted sinks, more than enough space, no fighting about who's your perfume or your deodorant is on my side, right? Because we all have that invisible line. You don't know about that yet. You will. Now, we have a whole bunch of counter space, drawers. You guys know that I love drawers, 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 drawers. All right. Now, we also have a separate water closet in here. If you guys don't know what that is, it's just where the toilet is and it's in a closet. And that is perfect, okay? Now, we're going to walk into your custom master closet. Let's go. 
Welcome to your master closet. What do you think? I absolutely love the division between the two, right? So one side for you, one side for your significant other, or because that bedroom was large enough, you have your significant other that don't have that much clothing, fold it, put it in the drawers, and you have this master closet. But I absolutely love that it already comes custom. And if you wanted to add some other things to it, you can absolutely do that. But what do you think about this master closet? Let me know. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the kitchen and chop it up and let me tell you more details about this house. Let's go. Welcome back to the kitchen. You guys know is my favorite place to be. What did you think about this house? Let me know in the comments. And how do you think my six kids did? I'm super proud of them and super grateful that I was able to have them tour this beautiful home with me. Now let's go over the recap because there's a lot to cover. We are in Ocala, Florida. This is a custom built new 2024 home, five bedrooms, five bathrooms, three car garage, 4,390 square foot home on 10 acres, no HOA. It has a private gated entrance. As soon as you enter the gates, you are greeted with a circular driveway. I absolutely love the front of the home. It reminds me of like a hotel in the lobby where you're gonna go check in. I love it. What do you think about it? Now, as soon as you enter the double front doors, you are greeted with this open floor plan. We have high ceilings, wood beams. We have that beautiful fireplace. The kitchen is absolutely amazing. Now. We have the two bedrooms in front of the house and the bathroom that they share. In back of the house, we have the other two bedrooms that have their own en suites. We have the laundry room and then we have the three car garage. Now entering your backyard oasis, you have an extended covered lanai. You have a fire pit already installed. You have the utility sink and you have an abundance of space to make it your own. Coming back into the house, we have that bathroom that's off of the lanai, which is perfect for a pool bathroom. Now let's talk about that master bedroom. The master bedroom faces the side of the house. We have the wood beams in there, very, very spacious. And then the master bathroom has its own standalone tub, step-in shower, that ginormous double sinks, and then that walk-in closet where there's more than enough space. I absolutely love it. Now this house just had a price reduction and it is now listed at $1.6 million. It was reduced by $150,000. We are in Ocala. We're literally 10 minutes away from the World Equestrian Center. We are about 15 to 20 minutes away from downtown Ocala where you're gonna have some really good restaurants and my favorite, favorite Grandpa Joe's candy shop where they have an abundance of candy. They even have a buffet where you can grab a box, fill it up for only $5. We are about 15 to 20 minutes away from all of the major shopping such as Walmart, Publix, the hospitals, all of your eatery, which is gonna be off of Highway 200, so it's not a bad drive at all. Now, where we're located, we're about an hour and a half away from downtown Orlando. We're gonna be an hour and a half away from Tampa. We're also about an hour and a half away from Walt Disney World. It's a perfect area. I absolutely love this house. Now, as I mentioned, this is concrete block. It is on a septic tank, well water, and it already comes with the water softener so that is one less thing that you have to worry about. Now, we don't only cover Ocala, we cover all of Central Florida from Ocala all the way down to Tampa and everywhere in between. So if this house doesn't quite work for you or the area, just reach out to us and we'll be able to help you evolve in real estate and define your specific needs, okay? So the taxes on this home is only based on the land right now, so it's about $2,800. But again, that's only based on the land. Once you buy the house the second year, it gets reassessed and your taxes are gonna go up. I don't know what that is. The lender is gonna be able to um, better assist with those numbers and it's only gonna be an estimate, okay? Now, if you have any questions, please, please reach out to us. We would love to help you evolve in real estate and stay tuned to our next video.